Hi, I'm Rachel. Today I'm just going to be making a pizza dough. We're having pizza for dinner because it's easy, I'm feeling lazy, the wood stove's running, it's hot, and I just couldn't think of anything better to be honest. Now I make my pizza dough in the Kenwood Major. You can knead your dough by hand or you can use a Thermomix. There are many options to make in dough, but today I'm going to show you using my Kenwood. So we need to put in your dough hook, which is that one. So we pop that in like so. And there we go, we have that in. First thing we need to do is put in our water, which is about 280 mils of tepid water. We have 10 grams of dried yeast. We have 10 grams of salt. And we have some oil, which I've forgotten how much it is. So it's about 20 mil, 20, 30 mil there. And eight grams of bread improver. The next thing we're going to add is I've got some home ground um, wholemeal flour. Can't see that, can you? Which I made yesterday. So I put it through my uh, my flour grinder and ground that up yesterday. So I'm just going to pop that in. So there was 200 grams of that and. Um, can't see that one either. So we've got 300 grams of plain baker's flour. So just pop it all in. Put the head down on the Kenwood and just slowly bring it up to speed. Just about there. It'll take about four minutes to incorporate and knead up to a nice smooth elastic. And it's much easier than doing it by hand by hand I find is very relaxing when I need some time out so it depends on what you fancy doing so I'm just going to pop you on pause and I'll come back shortly so as you can see it's starting to really incorporate up well and just let it go for a bit longer and I'll just bring the camera down so you can just see it a little bit closer Look at that, much easier than doing it by hand. It's come clean off the side of the bowl, which is great. So I'm just going to put the camera back up. There we go. Hopefully it's not going to fall over, which it is. So I'll just stop that. Okay, we're back and as you can see it's really starting to knead well. So it's had about five minutes. So we'll turn the mixer off and I'll just open it up. And unfortunately I've just got to hold the tripod with my other hand so there we go. So as you can see it's 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 come up really really nice. Um, I'm now going to leave that to prove. My kitchen is sitting on 26 degrees so it's going to prove very well in here and the wood stove sitting on 200 so it'll take probably about an hour. I think I'll go and set up the time-lapse camera and I might photograph it proven and we'll enjoy the pizza. Well me and my husband will enjoy the pizza anyway so Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video.